when you feel like this is your path but you don't know if that's for sure your path what you need to do is be able to have a relationship with your inner world versus your exterior world because when there's everything coming at you and attacking your mind because your mind is uh, not being used by you you're being used by your mind let me say that again because that's kind of deep you know you can be used by your mind or you can use your mind we all have the the choice of what we want to live with how we want to live in this life and how we live this life is completely up to us but what we are doing is living our experience that's the only thing that we have as a testament to us living here you know that you're living your own experience you're having your own relationship with this world that being said you have to be in control of how you respond to this world so when we study the stoic philosophy when we develop our character every single day that's what we're doing we're we're, we're developing our ability to respond better to our life instead of reacting to life because no matter what you're going to have things that come towards you right but it's your relationship with those things that come towards you it's it's not what you do uh, that matters it's how you react i believe that's a quote i don't want to misquote that so we'll stick to this quote that i have here i'm gonna go ahead and get into it this is marcus aurelius and it says think of yourself as dead you have lived your life now take what's left and live it properly. And we're gonna go into that. Think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. What if, what if you actually realize that you are not the person that you were yesterday? By fact of, of experience in your own life, you are not the same person that you were yesterday. So the depth of Stoic philosophy, when you can internalize this, is that you come to understand that you're not living the same life that you were living the day before. Because when you consider the idea of dying to who you were yesterday, meaning that you are no longer that person. That gives you a completely brand new day. And every day after that will expand in your mind. It will expand your consciousness. Excuse me. Because then you become conscious of the fact that you're not the same person that you were yesterday. By fact of experience, we over time evolve. How do you know this? Because you made it through whatever your struggle was yesterday. You made it through. You're no longer experiencing it. You're no longer experiencing whatever struggle it was that you had yesterday because today's a brand new day. Now, you might say, Jordan, I'm still I'm tied to uh, that that situation or problem that I had in my past. Well, that's you consciously using this energy and time in space to focus on that attachment that you have to your past so eventually by internalizing the stoic philosophy what you do is you come to a point of realizing of realizing that okay i can surrender to whatever was now i can have a brand new experience in this life now i can have a brand new day to start all over what if you had a brand new start in your life you could have a brand new start in your life right now by choosing to internalize a stoic quote that I just read of you. Let me read it, read it to you again. It says, think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. What if you were just able to embody this one quote? Think of yourself as dead. That means that you are no longer living. That means that you cannot live again that you that you are today will die tonight but that you that is your spirit will rise again you will no matter what because you are a spiritual being you are beyond your body no matter what you as a spirit will rise again 
whether it's in this body or not, that's not of your decision. That's another stoic philosophy, understanding that what's outside of my control, I have no control over. So I surrender to that. We have no control of, the, of whether the sun decides to rise again tomorrow or not. You don't have control over that because it happens regardless whether you're up to see it or not. I don't have control over that because it happens regardless of my choices in life. But we all have our own life to experience. So we have to, we have the opportunity. And this is, this is the, the joy of, of having my life experience so far. I have an everyday opportunity to live and embody a new truth today. You know, I study philosophy. So I study Stoic philosophy, but I also study the philosophy of, of masters of, of, of our history. One man is, is Neville Goddard. You know, The Power of Imagination, that's one of my favorite books in the world. That's like a Bible for me. There's more scripture in there that I read than I've read from the Bible. And I grew up in the Christian church, right? Amazing. So as we embody this Stoic philosophy, and why am I telling you this? Why am I explaining Stoic philosophy to you? For, for what experience? It's going to, when you learn to internalize a stoic philosophy or philosophy in general, you internalize a philosophy. What does that mean? That means that you can look at your life and look how you've applied this. So how, how have I applied this in my life? Think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. Well, I know that the video that I made yesterday for my cold shower routine or my, um, not my wake up call, but my uh, working out or my uh, video blog, you know, clip that I, I put on Instagram today, right? Any of these contributions that I did the day before, they're no longer worthy of, of today, right? I can't rely on what I did yesterday to make and create a brand new experience today. So I have to create every single day of my life. I can say that I have lived my life in my past, in some part of my experience, in my history. I can say I've lived life because it happened and I have that as a testament to my experience here in this, in this body, right? So now I can say, okay, that's, that's done. I died. You know, every single night that I go to sleep, I sleep on the floor, right? I'm a real life monk in case you don't know. I'm an IMC Nation warrior monk. I should have started off the video that way, huh? To let you know who you're talking to. I go by the name of Master Myself. My name is Jordan Damari, or JD, however it is you want to call me. Master Myself is going to be the best title because that's how I that's how I treat myself, master mastering myself every day. That means that I I live. My philosophy. That means that I, I, I know when I go to sleep on this floor that I love to sleep on because I sleep on it every single night. Every single night. Or every time I lay down. Right now, nighttime, I'm up. Right? That's the, that's, that's the, the way of, of, of my flow, of my universe right now. But every single time that I go down on the ground and I get to, to lay my head down and rest... When I do that, what happens for me is I die. I'm no longer the same person. I know every single time that I lay down, I'm not the same person the next time that I wake up. Because I'm having new experiences. Just my mind doesn't, my mind is still dreaming, right? My mind is still going. I'm choosing to journey elsewhere. Not here in this experience. So I die to this experience. But when I wake up again, another opportunity for me to live again. Let me treat my life that way. Let me be the example of that philosophy. What if this was the last time that you got to, to experience your life? What if this was it? 
how would that how would that look how would your life play out that day how would we know that you lived the life that you came to live that's what this represents for me memento mori someday i'm going to die so i know how valuable these video blogs are going to become one day because this is my experience being documented and we all have the capability of recording ourselves we all have the potential of communicating and expanding our communication so that we can better serve the world because the world needs to know who we are i want to know who you are i know that people want to know who i am so here i am speaking my truth living my philosophy contributing to the world every single day by putting out these cold shower videos every single day by putting out some kind of communication to the world every single day some contribution is coming from me my name is master myself on instagram at you go to the at sign on the, uh instagram you tap in type in master m-a-s-t-e-r m-y-c-e-l-l-f you go there you tap in you follow um you you tap into the link right and you see the video blog link there you see the self-code podcast there and you also see the um uh free book of affirmations and it's called self-talk get that that's my contribution to the world that's that's my contribution to you if you're watching this because I know that my, my state of mind, my mentality, my, my go get it uh, energy, my warrior mentality comes from me having a confidence of practice. By practicing what? How I talk to myself, practicing how I experience life when it's just me and me. That's, that's who I'm always talking to. At the end of the day, it's just me and me. So if I, when I go back and I watch these videos, I, I love seeing the experience because I'm like, who is this? Man, let me sit down and watch this man because I don't, I don't know who that is. I'm a whole different the person every single time, every single day because I'm outputting my energy. So if you're watching these videos, this is a very, very, very early on documentation of, of the evolution of Master Myself. And the more that you're going to watch me, the more that you're going to evolve as well. By fact, because... That's just what I do every single day. That's what we all do in IMC Nation. This is this is our life. This is our history. Our life is magic. Every single moment matters. Because we know that we won't be here forever, but we have a, a value. We have a purpose to contribute to our world. Because we know that this is our life. Are, are you aware of the fact that this is your life? Did you know that you're going to die? Did you know at some point we won't know what your experience was here because you never said nothing about it? You got to say something. That's that's why every day I put out something. Every day is some, something. <laughs> something. I post about 12, sometimes 12 posts a day. Okay, on Instagram. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying that as a fact. Sometimes that, that's my contribution to the world every single day. I'm putting out some kind of mental philosophy, some kind of mental st stimulation, because I understand that you're being bombarded by other things. But I myself, I've, I've taken away a lot of celebrities. I think I follow maybe two or three celebrities on Instagram right now that have blue check marks outside of my mentor. You, you got to wipe away. If you really want to do something in your life, you have to wipe away all the, the things that don't contribute to who you want to be. So then the question becomes, who do you really want to be? You got to start to understand that this is your life. This is your experience. Nobody else can tell you how to live it. Nobody else is going to die for you. And so by that fact, nobody else is going to live for you. It's time that you live your life. Man, I hope this lighting is okay because I don't know if y'all can see me that whole time. But regardless, man, live your life. Live your life experience. This is Master Myself tapping in from Phoenix, Arizona. Once again, I'm an IMC Nation Warrior Monk. Tap in with me, man. Go to my Instagram. Whenever it is you want to tap in with me um, on a spiritual level, slide in my DMs, man.
slide in my DMs right now. You know, right now I'm getting my program together. My program, the name of my program is The Self Code, okay? And that's what it's been from the jump. I have The Self Code Podcast that I'm going to start contributing to again, but there's a, a, a dialogue of information already there, okay? There's a chapter of information there that you can tap into and... Um, like I said, man, go to my Instagram and get that free get that free book of uh, affirmations and just start to use something to, to stimulate your mind because the stimulation of your mind is the evolution of your consciousness. If you want to get better at life, you need to stimulate your mind. You need to use your mind. You have to be the, the demonstration of a philosophy. That's why I go over Stoic philosophy, all right? So this is Master Myself tapping in, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, subscribe, do all that good shit, man. Tap in. I know you got to hit the notification bell if you didn't have, uh, if you haven't done that already, all right? Uh, I'll talk to y'all soon, man. Talk to y'all on the next one, man. Be the best. Fuck the rest. This is IMC Nation. Knowledge of self and is knowledge of wealth. This is Master Myself tapping in. Be the best and fuck the rest. Let's go.